the enigma of Stonebridge Manor. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm, golden hue over the picturesque village of Rosewood Hollow. Nestled in the rolling hills of the English countryside, the village exuded a peaceful charm that drew the admiration of all who visited. However, amidst the beauty of the landscape, a long-standing mystery loomed, the enigma of Stonebridge Manor. Emily Roberts, a spirited and resourceful woman in her late twenties, found herself the unexpected heir to the ancient estate. Having grown up in the city, she had only heard whispers of the manor and the illustrious Stonebridge family. Their sudden disappearance decades ago had left the village in a state of unease, and the once magnificent manor now stood abandoned and crumbling at the edge of the village. With a sense of adventure and determination, Emily left her city life behind and arrived in Rosewood Hollow to restore the manor to its former glory. The villagers, curious and cautious, observed her from a distance as she began the arduous task of repairing the old estate. The manor, weathered by time, had succumbed to the relentless forces of nature, its majestic facade now marred by vines and decay. As Emily embarked on her restoration journey, she unearthed a series of hidden passages and secret chambers scattered throughout the manor. The labyrinthine estate intrigued her, and she found herself consumed with the desire to uncover the secrets it held. The villagers, too, watched with bated breath, wondering what Emily's efforts would reveal about the manor's mysterious past. One fateful day, while exploring a hidden alcove behind the library's towering bookshelves, Emily stumbled upon an old tattered journal. It was a leather-bound book, worn and frayed by time, its pages filled with the elegant script of Lady Elizabeth Stonebridge, the last mistress of the house. The diary offered a rare insight into the lives of the manor's former residents and hinted at a network of enigmatic connections that seemed to bind the family's fate to the shadowy corners of the estate. As Emily flipped through the pages of the diary, she found herself captivated by the cryptic entries and the air of mystery that surrounded the Stonebridge family. She couldn't shake the feeling that the manor was concealing a crucial piece of the puzzle, a secret that would explain the family's sudden disappearance and the unsettling aura that enveloped the estate. With the diary in hand, Emily began to delve deeper into the history of the Stonebridge family and their connection to the village. Her investigation led her to the local archives, where she spent hours poring over old documents, newspaper articles and records, as she pieced together the fragments of the past, a chilling story began to emerge, one of betrayal, tragedy and the presence of an elusive, shadowy figure that seemed to lurk at the fringes of the family's life. As night fell, Emily sat in the dimly lit library of Stonebridge Manor, the diary open on her lap. The flickering light of the fireplace cast eerie shadows on the walls, as if mirroring the darkness that had once plagued the family. Determined to unravel the enigma of Stonebridge Manor, Emily vowed to follow the trail of secrets to its very end, no matter where it led her. Over the following days, Emily continued her exploration of the manor, guided by the cryptic entries in Lady Elizabeth's diary. Each discovery revealed more about the Stonebridge family and the complex web of relationships that had once connected them to the village. As she delved deeper into the mystery, the villagers began to share their own stories and memories of the family offering pieces of a puzzle that Emily was determined to solve. One evening, Emily found herself in the heart of the manor, standing before a towering portrait of Lord Reginald Stonebridge, the enigmatic patriarch of the family. His piercing gaze seemed to follow her every move, and a strange unease settled over her as she studied the painting. Beneath the portrait, a brass plaque bore a cryptic inscription. To reveal the truth... Seek the heart of the manor. Intrigued by the message, Emily began to search the room for clues. Her efforts led her to a concealed door hidden behind an ornate tapestry. As she pushed the door open, a gust of stale air greeted her, and she found herself in a dimly lit corridor lined with dusty, forgotten artifacts. At the end of the corridor, a heavy wooden door stood ajar. Beyond it, an ancient chamber beckoned her, its walls lined with shelves filled with dusty books and a magnificent stone fireplace dominating the room. As Emily stepped into the chamber, she felt a shiver run down her spine. This was the heart of the manor, 
the secret room where the Stonebridge family's darkest secrets had been hidden for decades. The air was heavy with the weight of untold stories, and Emily couldn't help but feel that she was on the brink of a crucial discovery. Carefully, she began to explore the chamber, her fingers tracing the spines of the books that lined the shelves. Among the volumes, she discovered a collection of letters, correspondence between Lord Reginald and a mysterious figure known only as the Alchemist. The letters spoke of a dark pact, a hidden treasure, and a powerful force that had bound the family to the manor and sealed their fate. As Emily delved deeper into the chamber's secrets, she uncovered a hidden compartment in the stone fireplace. Inside, she found an intricately carved wooden box, its surface adorned with symbols and runes that seemed to whisper of ancient magic. A sense of foreboding washed over her, but she couldn't resist the urge to open the box. Within the box, she discovered a mysterious artifact, an obsidian key, its surface etched with the same symbols that adorned the wooden box. As she held the key in her hands, Emily felt an inexplicable connection to the Stonebridge family, and she knew that the key was the final piece of the puzzle, the key to unlocking the truth behind the family's disappearance and the manor's secrets. And with the obsidian key in her possession, Emily retraced her steps through the secret chamber and the hidden corridor. As she emerged into the manor's grand hall, she was met by the worried faces of the villagers who had gathered there. They had sensed a change in the manor's atmosphere and had come to offer their support to Emily as she confronted the darkness that had claimed the Stonebridge family. With the villagers by her side, Emily ventured into the heart of Stonebridge Manor, guided by the obsidian key and the cryptic clues in Lady Elizabeth's diary. The atmosphere grew heavier with each step they took, and a sense of foreboding hung in the air. The villagers whispered stories of the curse that had befallen the Stonebridge family and Emily could feel the weight of their fear and sorrow. The search led them to the manor's grand ballroom, its once lavish decor now a testament to the passage of time. At the far end of the room, an ornate door stood, its surface etched with the same mysterious symbols that adorned the wooden box and the obsidian key. As Emily approached the door, she felt a strange energy pulsating through the key, urging her to unlock the truth that lay beyond. With a deep breath, Emily inserted the obsidian key into the door's ancient lock and turned it. The door creaked open, revealing a hidden chamber shrouded in darkness. As the villagers huddled together in fear, Emily stepped forward, her heart pounding in her chest. The chamber was dominated by a large, circular table, its surface covered in a sprawling map of the village and the surrounding countryside. Among the intricate details of the map, Emily noticed a series of markers that seemed to form a pattern. With a growing sense of dread, she realised that the markers formed a web of dark energy that converged on the very spot where they stood. As Emily studied the map, she discovered an inscription at the edge of the table. To break the curse, unite the heart of the manor with the heart of the village. The words echoed in her mind and she knew that she had to find a way to release the Stonebridge family from the dark force that had ensnared them. With the support of the villagers, Emily embarked on a quest to unravel the web of dark energy and free the Stonebridge family from the curse that had claimed them. They followed the map's markers, performing rituals to sever the ties that bound the family to the manor and the shadowy figure known as the Alchemist. Finally, the group found themselves standing in the centre of the village, the heart of the community. Together they performed one final ritual, and as they did, the dark energy that had enveloped the manor began to dissipate, replaced by a warm golden light that seemed to radiate from the very heart of the village. The curse was broken, and the villagers watched in awe as the manor was transformed before their eyes, its decay replaced by a newfound splendour. The spirits of the Stonebridge family appeared before them, freed from the dark force that had bound them to the manor. As they faded into the ether, they whispered their gratitude to Emily and the villagers for their courage and determination. With the mystery of Stonebridge Manor finally solved, Emily embraced her newfound life in the village, devoting herself to the restoration of the estate and the celebration of its storied history. 
The villagers, too, rejoiced in the knowledge that the manor's dark past had been laid to rest, and a new chapter in the story of Rosewood Hollow had begun. With the curse lifted, Stonebridge Manor became the focal point of the village, and life in Rosewood Hollow flourished. Emily, now an integral part of the community, devoted herself to preserving the manor's history and sharing its stories with visitors from near and far. Word of the manor's transformation spread, drawing curious travellers who wished to witness the once-doomed estate now restored to its former glory. Emily welcomed the guests, offering tours of the manor and recounting the harrowing tale of the Stonebridge family's plight and their eventual redemption. As the years passed, Emily found herself drawn to the village's rich history and the unique connections that bound its residents together. Inspired by the stories she uncovered, she began to write her own chronicles of Rosewood Hollow, weaving together the threads of the past and the present to create a vibrant tapestry of the village's life. As her collection of stories grew, Emily decided to establish a library within the manor, dedicated to preserving the tales of Rosewood Hollow and the Stonebridge family. The library became a haven for the villagers, who would gather around the roaring fireplace to listen as Emily recounted tales of love, loss and adventure. The village, once overshadowed by the darkness of Stonebridge Manor, now thrived under the watchful gaze of the manor's new mistress. The villagers embraced the manor's legacy, incorporating its stories into the fabric of their daily lives and ensuring that the memory of the Stonebridge family lived on. With each passing year, Emily's dedication to the village and the manor deepened, and she found herself truly at home in Rosewood Hollow. The village's residents, once wary of the stranger who had arrived to unravel the secrets of the manor, now regarded Emily as one of their own a beloved figure who had played a crucial role in transforming their village into a place of hope and renewal. As the sun set on another day in Rosewood Hollow, Emily stood on the balcony of Stonebridge Manor, gazing out at the rolling hills and the village that had become her home. The once dark shadows of the manor had been replaced by the warm glow of love and friendship, and Emily knew that she had found her place in the world, amidst the whispers of the past and the promise of the future.